just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving let the speculation begin youtube team keep it clean you know what initially i have thought that this said melvin ingram so i was like oh man the ravens moving quick uh what's the name uh dwayne smoot he just uh re-signed back with the jacksonville jaguars so the ravens moving quick with their backup plan it was melvin ingram all right let's roll but then i, was, I read reread it and it was like whoa hold up now that ain't say Ingram. So let's read the report from Adam Schefter. It says, a running back deal. Veteran free agent Melvin Gordon reached agreement today on a one-year deal worth up to $3.1 million with the Baltimore Ravens per league source. Now, look, I don't care. I know it says worth up to $3.1 million. Worth up to. But even still, giving a, a one-year deal money to a running back Right now, with this market, for up to $3.1 million, and I, I know it's going to be filled with a lot of incentives, but still, at this point of the season, what's going on, Ravens? What's happening? Now, I don't want to scare anybody or worry anybody. The first thing I thought of, though, was are they trading J.K. Dobbins? And I know a lot of us don't want to think about that, but that's one of the first things that I thought of. Are they trading J.K. Dobbins? I hope not. Anything's possible, but I hope not. Now, a, a, a deal like this also means that he's sticking. Okay, the Ravens also signed Kyle Vinoy, so they are moving. See, this is why I told y'all, man. We over here talking about the running back in one video, and now the Ravens still moving in another video. So look at that. They, 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 they keeping us crazy. I told you, make sure you subscribe. This is what I be talking about, man. Make sure you subscribe because stuff is getting crazy. But anyway... Back to the running back thing. We'll talk about Kyle later. Super duper Kyle. We'll talk about him in a bit. But anyway, for them to be given that much money. And again, I know it's going to be a lot of incentives. I get that. But for them to give a contract of that back to, to a, a, a running back in this market right now. And I know it's not a crazy, crazy deal. But just the timing is, I don't know, man. That deal to me, it says that he's going to stick, though. It says that he's going to stick. It's not like it's a veteran minimum. It's not like it's a one-year deal worth $1.1 million or $1.5 million. No, a deal worth up to $3.1 million. So to me, it sounds like that deal has a little bit of promise in it. A little bit of promise. So I, I don't know, man. Again, so th this could say a couple of things to me. And I'm, I'm sorry that my mind is all over the place. This has been a very crazy week for me. Uh, it's been a lot going on, a lot of good stuff. But it's, it's been a very crazy week, and Ravens just, they love to make stuff crazier. But anyway, with Melvin Gordon, um, either, to me, my opinion, could be completely wrong. And, I, hey, may end up being completely wrong. We'll see. To me, it either says, all right, JK, nobody could be out of there. Or, um, like somebody brought up to me recently, they were like, oh, maybe it means Gus isn't as healthy as they had hoped or they had thought. Because I know, I believe that he was doing work over on the sideline for most of the off season when Ravens met together and stuff, I believe he was doing a lot of work on the on the sideline. He wasn't really participating like that, like that. But then at the same time, it couldn't be that bad. Gus can't be in that bad a shape to where they would give Melvin Gordon like a one year deal worth up to three. Like again, I and I keep repeating this because I have to. I understand that the deal could be loaded with crazy incentives. It could be a, an incentive based deal. So that means most of the deal will come from incentives. And again, it's worth up to 3.1 million. But still, like, I don't know, my friends. Do y'all remember last year? Last offseason? Was it this offseason or was it last offseason? Now I don't even remember. Man. Well, remember whenever it was at the Ravens, they were looking at Melvin Gordon. It was said that they were interested in Melvin Gordon before. But obviously nothing ever came to fruition. But now he's there. So this this move it has me it has me lost. I, I I don't know what this means. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> I I just I don't know. Like I don't know. 
Because, right, like, th think about this. Think about this. Another thing. Because, again, we still got to wait on the guarantees to come out to really see if he's going to stick around. But think about this. Ravens, the way that their offense, see, this is why I love this. I love that we're able to do this because while we're talking, other thoughts come to our head and we could just express them right there. And then y'all can let me know whether you agree, disagree, whatever. But, Ravens are expected to go to a more pass-oriented offense. Look at that. Got alarms going off and whatnot. But Ravens are expected to go to a pass or more pass-oriented offense. Not strictly pass-oriented, but y'all get it. They're going to be passing the ball more. They already have J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, even Keaton Mitchell, who a lot of fans are thinking, hey, he could stick around. They already got four running backs. They just signed a fifth. Now, even if you take Keaton Mitchell out, okay, he, he's an undrafted rookie, so chances of him making a squad are tough. But so J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, who they just re-signed to a two-year deal, and Melvin Gordon, so four running backs in, in an offense that's expected to be passing the ball up. Maybe somebody's injured, uh, but I don't know. It ain't adding up to me. That, again, it's just me, though. It's just me, but that don't add up to me. So... I don't know, my friends. I don't know. So, again, I, I could end up being completely wrong. Maybe Ravens was just, hey, maybe we just want another veteran running back, maybe. But, I don't know. So, I would expect um, this to get cleared up rather quickly. Obviously, with training camp coming around the corner for the veterans, like, literally in a couple of days, um, I would expect us to have some answers sooner rather than later. Maybe we find out somebody gets placed on the, P, the PUP list um, maybe we find out somebody that they may have had an, an off-season surgery while they've been gone before they get back to training camp. Maybe it's something along those lines, but I just, I'm just really lost on the whole situation because I just, I don't know. I, I don't know and I don't have a clue why. So, I know Melvin Gordon is known for fumbles. He is known for having fumbleitis. Uh... So for Ravens, hey, especially John Harbaugh, because, you know, like, John Harbaugh do not play about them fumbles, man. He don't play about them fumbles. So, it's almost sound like a, almost sound like a desperation move, kind of. I don't know, man. I just, I really don't know. But, for everything that I don't know, I'm sure, again, Ravens will answer that question very, very soon. I'm sure we'll find out what's going on very, very soon, and... Yeah, that'll be that. So, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. If any of y'all have, like, and I know y'all will share it in the comment section like y'all always do. If y'all have any, have any inclination or anything that you're thinking, like, hmm, it could be this. Well, no, no, it could be that. Or maybe it's this. Or, uh, I know y'all will let all of us know. And that's why we love y'all. Team, keep it clean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't know, like I'm thinking somebody could possibly be, whether it's due to trade or if it's due to injury. We out.